Hey all, uh, we'll see how to configure data source uh, in WebSphere in this class. So there are uh, three steps to configure uh, data source. The first step is creating JDBC provider. It's like WebSphere in general, uh, it will host Java applications and uh, for all uh, Java applications if they have to connect to some database uh, it has to connect through JDBC provider JDBC is nothing but Java database uh, connectivity data, data Java database connector this would be provided by uh, database vendors say like now we'll see how to connect SQL server so SQL server Microsoft Microsoft SQL server will give JDBC provider so SQL Server is being uh, supplied with Microsoft. So Microsoft will uh, supply JDBC provider to SQL Server as well. And the next step, uh, J2C authentication alias. Here uh, we'll just uh, give uh, the required authentication details uh, to connect database. Uh, we'll see how to configure the second step. And the last step, uh, it, it will be the combination of these first two steps. So we will have uh, set together with JDBC provider. Uh, so with JDBC provider, we can connect to database. And with that, we should have authentication details. So, so with JDBC pro provider and with authentication details, I will connect, we can connect to database and this uh, data source would be uh, having some naming conventions like jmdi using these names uh, you can uh, keep in code or uh, in configurations so that your application can connect to uh, database so let us see how to configure them so first let us create a jdbc provider it will be in resources, JDBC, JDBC provider and yeah, I want to call, we can select the scopes uh, as per your environment. So for now, for the time being, I want to configure for node 6 and server 1 and I'm having my profile name is appsrv06 and in that I want to configure for node 6 server 1 and let me create a JDBC provider new database type I want to create a JDBC provider for SQL server so let me select that and the provider type uh, it is being provided by Microsoft SQL Server so it would be Microsoft SQL Server JDBC driver and the implementation type uh, I'm uh, selecting uh, I'm creating it uh, as XA data source and it took the names automatically and let's, let me go ahead and here I should provide the path where uh, this driver is located. So I have located in this path. So these all uh, set of files uh, have been uh, given uh, by Microsoft and I have downloaded from their uh, site. So let me give the path here. And so the driver path and the native library path can be same so I give the same path and this is a summary click on finish save so the first step is finished so as per first step we just let the web sphere know where exactly the JDC providers are there so using these JDBC providers providers we can connect to database and the next step uh, J2C authentication alias uh, it should be the authentication details with which we can connect the database 
So say, uh, let me open uh, the database uh, which I'm having. SQL Server, I have, I have a configured SQL Server in this uh, system. So let us log in it first. So I have a password for this. Okay. So I'm using a username as SA and I'm using its password to log into this uh, database. So here we are having database test one. So let us uh, say, let us configure uh, authentication to connect to this database with name test1. So let us uh, go to uh, the next step, J2C authentication alias. It would be in security, global security and uh, Java authentication and J2C authentication data. So let me create on click on new and uh, you can create uh, uh, your name as per your choice uh, let us say SQL uh, J2C1 and then user ID is same SA as I said uh, I have a username and password for SA let me give the password okay yep so the second step is done let us uh, go with the third step uh, the data source it should be nothing but the it would be the combined set of these first two steps and it would have some naming convention JNDI uh, using these names you can connect to database so let me create data source I want to select the scope, yeah, the same scope uh, because earlier I've uh, created JDBC providers uh, for this scope. Let us click on new. Uh, it is selected the required scope. Uh, you can select the name as per your choice. Uh, so, so here I'm creating a with name SQL data source one and JND name as SQL JNDA one. And next. I want to use the uh, existing uh, JDBC provider so this is a provider we have created earlier so I'm selecting it Click on next and yeah so the database name as I told as I have shown here the, the database name is test1 and uh, server name is uh, it's a, it would be instance name in general here the server name took the default host name so if you see the properties here see you will see the name uh, it's uh, it took the host name so I'm giving the name okay, I, I gave the name uh, of the server click on next and here I have to give the authentication uh, it uses with which uh, we can connect to this database. So I already gave the required JDBC provider and uh, I have to give the authentication. For authentication we have configured SQL uh, J2C, the J2C authentication alias. So it is showing uh, default uh, by default so I am selecting uh, those things. So using these credentials it will, log, it will uh, connect to the database. And um, mapping configuration alias, this this can be configured uh, once you enable security. Since I'm not, I, I, did, I did not enable security, so I'm not using this option. And yeah, it showed the summary, and I'm saving it. We can test the connection. Uh, so let me restart. Um, the server since we have done all these configurations in general if you do any uh, modifications it's better to restart the server so let me restart and uh, do the test okay i'm in that uh, profile uh, bin
So let me restart it. Let me start it. Let us log into the profile and uh, perform test. So, um, says JDBC data source. So, this is the one which we have created. Uh, let us do test connection. Yes, uh, so the test connection operation for data source SQL data source 1 on server server 1 at node 6 was successful. Well, well this, this could, these warnings uh, can be uh, ignored. Uh, so, uh, if you have any errors, we can uh, investigate. In fact, uh, we can dig around and check the logs and investigate the warnings as well. Uh, but on the whole, uh, the connection uh, is successful. So this is how uh, you can uh, configure data source and you can use these details these details uh, to connect uh, to database for your uh, web sphere applications. So I'm done uh, with this class and uh, if you want to learn web sphere application server administration you can refer the playlist available in my channel and uh, you please subscribe uh, to this channel so that uh, you can get more videos in the near future. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.